What we're starting to learn is that um, some tumors are more highly, in quotes, immunogenic, but that's a little bit of a vague term. In fact, what we're learning is that some tumors are more readily observed by your patient's immune systems. And we're starting to define out, and it's one of our big research projects, what percentage of patients with each kind of cancer have what we refer to as a T-cell inflamed tumor microenvironment that suggests that the immune system knows the cancer there. And in some cancers, that's a lot of patients, like melanoma, and in some cancers, that's not very many patients. And so what we need to figure out after we understand that is what can we do to try to make the immune system notice the cancer is there in those patients where it hasn't done that. And so that's where immunotherapy can, is going to become applicable across other cancers. Once we can learn approaches, say radiation or a targeted therapy or another immunotherapy that can convert the immune system from not observing the cancer to observing it, then the patient will be in a position to respond to these immunotherapies. So what we're learning from melanoma will really help, not so much because we can just immediately apply the new drug, but rather we can understand why these drugs work and why they don't work, and then design strategies in other kinds of cancers so that these same drugs that worked in melanoma can work in those, drug, those diseases as well.